Watch us wallow in our desire, in our need, in our deprivation. I've made the argument before that pleasure is more of an illusion. Suffering is a real feeling. It's core. It's solid. Now, pleasure is much more complicated because that's derived through the release of deprivation, of emptiness, of a sense of missing, a sense of lacking that may be subtle, but it exists. That's why life sucks, you stupid fuck. That's the quandary I was talking about that we are stuck in. There's no way to do this consuming each other thing right. There's no good way to eat your fucking relatives, asshole. But the bottom line is this is, this is the conditioned beastie that we are. It matters not because the point is that the desire, it perverts the judgment. It creates the value. The value is not in the thing. It is in our perception of it. That's why we chase it. I told you, the components of life matter. Okay, life existing doesn't matter because it's obviously not preventing the universe from suffering. The universe isn't in deprivation if there's no human being on Earth. The universe isn't writhing in pain. Okay, there's no harm to be done. That's what I'm after. I'm after the harm. Finding the harm. There cannot be harm where there is not sentience. So, unless you're going to say the universe is sentient and you can hear its cries for life to exist, then you're not going to be able to make an argument that's going to mean anything. Consumption and reproduction for no end. For no purpose. Merely because it happens. Merely because it's a, a biological process. Consumption and reproduction. If I invent it, if I take this piece of paper and I create a little consuming and reproducing monster, it just goes out there and it doesn't matter whether it's living, dead, doesn't matter, it just consumes it and makes another copy of itself. If I made such a thing, you wouldn't call me a great guy. You wouldn't say, oh, what a smart thing you just did to let that loose in the universe. You're not going to give me a Nobel Prize, asshole. Be productive. Get rid of a negative. I've made it explicit what matters. Harm matters. Everything else is irrelevant. How would the universe be better off without suffering? It's not whether the universe will be better off, it's whether or not the things experiencing the suffering will be better off. It's not complicated. If there's two universes, one's all holocaust and one's all rocks, it's not going to be hard to figure out that this is the better thing over here, the rocks is safe. For someone who thinks that humans are so worthless, we're worthless in our acts, in our deeds, in how we function. We have squandered and wasted the faculty of intelligence because we have filled ourselves with fairy tales and delusions of purpose and grandeur. And that is our huge failure. So deal with the philosophy, deal with the rational, logical argument. Don't deal with this, what do you do in your personal life, bullshit.